Have you ever looked at your plants and felt disappointed by their pale leaves and weak growth? Maybe your flowers are sparse and your vegetables are small and reluctant. This is common, especially in pots or raised beds where soil nutrients run out quickly. The difference between struggling plants and thriving ones often comes down to one thing, food. A well-fed plant is a happy, productive plant. The good news? You don't need expensive, chemical-laden products to achieve this. The real magic is in simple, everyday things you already have at home. It's about feeding not just your plants, but the entire living system in your soil. This is a more sustainable, old-fashioned way to garden, what our grandparents did, using what they had to create abundance. Healthy soil is the foundation for everything you want to grow. Let's put aside complicated chemical feeds. We're going to make something organic, powerful, and easy. A liquid fertilizer with just three simple ingredients. This approach connects you to your garden and the cycles of nature. By feeding the soil, you create a thriving, resilient garden. Let's get started on this journey to healthier, happier plants. Many believe a great garden requires expensive store-bought fertilizers, but some of the best things for your garden are already in your kitchen. Humble, inexpensive, and often overlooked. Nature has provided everything we need, we just need to use it wisely. This isn't just about saving money, it's about working with nature, not against it. Turning kitchen scraps into plant food closes the nutrient loop and empowers you as a gardener. You're not relying on factories. You're creating your own solutions. This simple act connects you to your garden and the natural cycles around you. So, let's start our treasure hunt in the kitchen. We're looking for three simple, everyday ingredients. They're not fancy or exotic, but together, they create a powerful, living liquid fertilizer. This homemade brew feeds not just your plants, but the entire ecosystem in your soil. It encourages worms, welcomes beneficial microbes, and builds a healthy foundation for everything you grow. You'll be amazed at what you can achieve with what you already have. Let's unlock the secrets hidden in your cupboards. Your kitchen is the key to a thriving garden. Let's see what we can find. Plants absorb nutrients through their roots, dissolved in water. Think of it as a nourishing soup. Solid fertilizers take time to break down, but sometimes your plants need a quick boost. That's where liquid fertilizer shines. Nutrients are instantly available for roots to absorb. You'll often see results within days, deeper green leaves, new growth, and revived plants. But it's not just about feeding plants, it's about feeding the soil. Healthy soil teems with billions of microbes, bacteria, fungi, and more, that break down organic matter and protect plants. Chemical fertilizers do nothing for these microbes, but organic liquid feeds are a feast for them. When you pour homemade liquid fertilizer onto the soil, you energize this underground workforce. The result? Healthier soil structure, better water retention, and a steady supply of nutrients. You're not just giving your plant a meal, you're improving the whole kitchen. This approach creates a thriving, resilient garden from the ground up. Liquid feed is the fastest way to revive tired plants and boost your soil's health. Let's see how to make it. The first ingredient is unsulfured molasses, a sweet, sticky syrup from sugarcane. Molasses is packed with simple sugars that energize soil microbes, causing their populations to explode. These microbes break down organic matter and release nutrients for your plants. Molasses also contains essential minerals like calcium, magnesium, iron, and potassium. Calcium builds strong cell walls, magnesium makes leaves green, and potassium helps plants resist disease. Using molasses is an old gardening trick for boosting soil health and microbial activity. Just a little goes a long way in creating a vibrant garden ecosystem. Always use unsulfured molasses. Sulfur can harm beneficial microbes. It's easy to find and incredibly effective. Molasses is the perfect start to our powerful liquid feed. It's simple, natural, and proven by generations of gardeners. This sweet ingredient sets the stage for a thriving garden. Let's move on to the next key component. The second ingredient is mature compost, the living heart of any organic garden. Good compost is dark, crumbly, and full of beneficial microorganisms. 
When you make compost tea, you wash these microbes into water, creating a living liquid. Pouring this on your soil inoculates it with billions of helpful bacteria and fungi. If you have worm castings, even better, they're packed with nutrients and powerful microbes. Making compost tea is simple. Add a handful or two of mature compost or worm castings to your watering can. Stir well to release the goodness into the water. This living tonic improves soil structure, fights disease, and releases nutrients for your plants. Compost tea is the essence of a healthy soil food web. It's the foundation for robust, resilient plants. Let's add one more ingredient to complete our recipe. The final ingredient adds crucial minerals, and you have a choice, eggshells or banana peels. Crushed eggshells provide calcium, essential for strong stems and preventing blossom end rot in tomatoes and peppers. To use, wash, dry and crush eggshells into a fine powder, then steep in hot water overnight. Alternatively, banana peels are rich in potassium, vital for flowering and fruiting. Chop banana peels and soak them in water for a few days to create a potassium-rich liquid. Use eggshell water for strong structure, or banana peel water to boost blooms and fruit. Both options turn kitchen waste into garden gold. Add about a cup of your chosen mineral water to your fertilizer mix. This step recycles scraps and delivers targeted nutrition to your plants. Choose based on your garden's needs, calcium for strength, potassium for productivity. Either way, you're making the most of what you have. Simple, sustainable, and effective. Now let's put it all together. Your garden will thank you. Now, let's mix our three ingredients into a powerful garden tonic. No need for exact measurements. Gardening should be intuitive and relaxing. Start with a 10-liter watering can, filled with water. Rainwater is best, but tap water works too. If using tap water, let it sit overnight to let chlorine evaporate. Add a tablespoon of unsulfured molasses and stir until dissolved. Next, toss in a generous handful or two of mature compost or worm castings. Pour in about a cup of your eggshell or banana peel water. Stir thoroughly with a stick or cane until the water turns a murky brown. It should look like weak tea, full of life and nutrients. There's no need to let it brew, use it fresh while the microbes are active. This simple mix is ready in minutes and delivers a living feast to your garden. You can even add the crushed shells or chopped peels directly if you like. This recipe is flexible, adjust as needed for your garden. The key is combining these three elements for maximum impact. Your homemade liquid fertilizer is now ready to use. Let's see how and when to apply it for best results. Pour your homemade fertilizer directly onto the soil around your plant's base. Avoid the leaves. Drench the soil thoroughly so the liquid reaches the roots and soil microbes. Apply early morning or evening to prevent evaporation and give roots time to absorb nutrients. For container plants, feed every week or two during the growing season. For garden beds, once a month is usually enough. Watch your plants. If they look pale or slow, it's time for a feed. This tonic works year-round, even for houseplants and winter greens. After using this simple liquid fertilizer, you'll notice your garden transform. Leaves deepen in color, stems grow stronger, and plants become more resilient. You'll see fewer pests and diseases, and your harvests will be more generous. Dig into the soil and you'll find more earthworms, a sign of healthy, living earth. The soil will feel richer and hold moisture better thanks to thriving microbes. This approach nurtures the whole system, not just the plant. You're creating a virtuous cycle, feed the microbes, improve the soil, and grow healthier plants. The results are sustainable and long-lasting. Your garden will reward you with beauty and abundance. This is the true joy of organic gardening.